you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this year, E3 2015 will be Nathan Drake's last E3 appearance, according to uh, Naughty Dog director Neil Druckmann. On his Twitter, he wrote, looking mighty good for his last E3, and he was uh, referring to the banner that's at the um, convention center where they're gonna have the Sony press conference. There's an Uncharted 4 banner, huge banner hanging over there, and he said uh, that this will be his last E3. Why won't this phone ever stop ringing when I'm making a video? Leave me alone. But anyway, back to the video. So if this is uh, Nathan Drake's last E3, I, you know, I'm happy about that. I definitely think it should be because I'm actually, I'm honestly the type of person, I don't like franchises to go on too long. I think the the max iterations you should have is four or five. Once it gets gets past five, then I feel like that's ridiculous. There's, there shouldn't be more than five uh, games in a franchise. For the most part, there might be a few exceptions, and that doesn't mean that if they did make an Uncharted 5, I wouldn't play it. Of course, I would play it, but but I'm just saying if you gave if you asked me and gave me the choice of whether I would want an Uncharted 5 or a new IP, I'm def or another IP that already exists, I'm definitely gonna choose either the new IP or another pre-existing IP. That's one of the problems I have with with Nintendo games because it's the same franchise over and over again. And honestly, that's why that's what I like with I like that Sony and uh, Microsoft their franchise. Yeah, of course, each one have has some long. Uh, lasting franchises of course but for the most part most of these things get put in the vault for retirement um, never to really come out again uh, you know they they had their, their place in history they did their thing now it's time for them to go in the vault and the history books and let in the new uh, wave of games and characters and franchises and everything like that so I'm, I'm happy, you know, and, and Naughty Dog has plenty of talent. We know that they've made successful game and title and hit after after successful game and title and hit and brought in characters that we've loved with every game. So, yeah, I, I imagine that they're either going to go back to I imagine that they're going to go to The Last of Us back there. I can only imagine. I mean, we know they're going to. um make a sequel eventually so I can imagine that's just gonna be their next game is Last of Us 2 uh, and besides that I think uh, a lot of people have speculated um, that they're gonna try again with Jack we know last generation they visited that but decided to go in another direction um, there's rumors that Sony is actually gonna show off a Crash Bandicoot uh, that uh, at next year's E3, you know, there's been like teasers and stuff like that that they're getting back the rights to the game and stuff like that for Crash Bandicoot. But Naughty Dog, I doubt Naughty Dog would not be working on it. They would give it to another studio. You know, I don't think Naughty Dog would be interested in doing that again. They they just have way too much talent to be, I feel, using it on a Crash Bandicoot at this point. So um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm cool with this. I'm happy about it. Uh, Last Uncharted, yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.